What is up everybody, Matt here back again for another My Thoughts On. And today I'm going to be offering my thoughts on the new Ghost material. I've been a fan of Ghost for like the last two years or so, ever since I read about uh, Meliora. And uh, I looked it up, watched the video, and I, I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was so cool that a band was bringing back the old school theatrics of Kiss and Alice Cooper um, with a very neat modern twist. Um, I was lucky enough to see them live. Uh, at uh, the Midland uh, here in Kansas City uh, last October, and it was a fantastic show. It was really cool, but I have the feeling that the next time I see them, it's probably going to be in a much bigger space because they just keep getting bigger and bigger, um, and I think I'm very lucky that I got to see them in that intimate space. Um, the band is gearing up for their next album, and that's what I figured I'd offer my uh, thoughts on. Uh, for starter, the new single, Rats, I think is really, really good. Um, it has a very 80s feel to it. I don't know. It's uh, It's got a very pop, rock, synth, metal, Sabbath sound. It doesn't sound like anything else. It's really, really uh, well put together. In a way, I feel like it could have been used in a sleazy 80s movie about rats, and the music video kind of reflects that, too. If you haven't seen it, it's horrific and funny and great, and it's really, really cool. Um, I think it's a great single to lead off the album, and it did its job. You know, it made me want to buy the album, which leads me to my next point, the album itself. Um, I went ahead and pre-ordered the standard edition vinyl, but what I really like about Ghost is that they had multiple tiers that you could pick from. You could do, like, the holographic cover, you could do the CD and the poster and a shirt, and, you know, they had all kinds of crazy combo packs, and it, it's funny, in between coming up with this episode and filming it, they've actually sold out of a lot of those, so very, very cool that they do that. Um, you know, and I'm actually going to do a video about box sets here in a little bit, um, but uh, it, it, it's it's pretty cool, you know, that they, they decide to do that. And it doesn't feel cheap or pandering. It feels natural for this band because they're very crazy and over the top, and I think it fits with that kind of image that they have built for themselves. You know, other band is really doing that kind of stuff right now, and it really works for them. Uh, the Cardinal. Uh, the new, the quote-unquote new front man of the band. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, Tobias Forge is actually the, the leader of Ghost, and every album he portrays a new version of a character called Papa, and that has been done away with. Now all the previous Papas are dead. If you follow the band, it makes sense. All the previous Papas are dead, and now we have the Cardinal. Um, and what's so funny is that if you buy the VIP package, you can take pictures of yourself with the corpses of the other Papas, and it's just so amazing and cool. And uh, Tobias has said that playing this, this character has been really freeing for him and really allows him to do a lot more. I, I don't really understand the thinking behind that, but whatever, man. It, it works. It's awesome. It's cool. He dances better than Michael Jackson in that Rats video. It's really cool if you haven't seen it. Um, it, it it's so WWF. It's so, you know, uh, over-the-top, kayfabe, you know, stuff, and I, I love that. I think that's so cool. Uh, another point I just wanted to make real quick, I love the mass of the new Nameless Ghouls, the, the backing band. Uh, they um, are acknowledging their female bass player, which I think is super cool, with her own uh, the female ghoul mask, and uh, they all they really did was kind of cut out this part of the mask and kind of heighten the features so it just looks leaner and meaner and just really, really cool. Um, if you're not following Ghost already, be sure to check out their Facebook page, their YouTube, their Instagram. They are very social media savvy. They're a great band. They don't take themselves seriously, and they have the music to back it up. They're not just a stage show. They have incredible songs, incredible albums, and you should definitely check them out if you're a classic metal fan because they are bringing the majesty back to rock and roll. Anyway, that's all I have on my thoughts on the rock band Ghost and their new material. I'm really excited to see what happens with it. Can't wait for June. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I will see you guys next time.